Libra, welcome to your reading, Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is the general reading. This may or may not resonate, all right? Eight of Cups with the Temperance in Reverse here. Um, Libra, something's requiring a lot of patience from your side, but you're not being able to wait, so you're choosing to walk away from a situation, okay? A situation that requires a lot of patience, for sure, okay? This could be a reconciliation. You've been waiting for a reconciliation. You've been waiting for someone to come towards you. But this person is not coming towards you. Okay, So you're choosing to walk away. Okay, But with the temperance in reverse here, definitely you're losing patience. Okay, You're losing your patience. You're lacking patience, lacking moderation. This is you overindulging in some kind of overthinking, overanalyzing. Temperance in reverse to me is also where you're lacking that self-control. Okay, You're trying to control the outcome. Yeah. But whatever you need, okay, it could work out for you. But I feel you're walking away because you're just not being able to um, wait any longer. How do you see yourself in this connection, Libra? If you're on this side. How do you see yourself in this connection if you're on this side? Four of Pentacles in reverse with the Three of Cups in reverse. Yeah, yeah. looks like you're releasing a situation. Could be releasing a third party situation or a feeling that there's a lack of reconciliation from your side. I think you don't want to get along with someone. You don't want to get back to someone here, okay? You could be holding on to someone who kept you in a third party situation. If not, this is you detaching from a situation um, which just does not make you happy, okay? For sure. Let's see. Um, four of Wands here. Yeah, someone could be wanting commitment. You could be wanting commitment. Maybe that's the reason why you're walking away. Okay, see, this person is taking too long, okay, to reconcile with you. That's also what I'm picking up. Tell me for this person, okay, how does this person see themselves in this connection? How does this person see themselves in this connection with Libra? The Lovers and the Queen of Swords in reverse here. This is someone who constantly tries to sabotage the connection, okay? This person has a lot of love for you, a lot of love for you, okay? Because with the lovers here, this is someone who's literally telling you, I love you, I want you, okay? This person could be someone here who was lacking commitment, like I said, okay? One person out here was wanting commitment and the other person was running away from it. I think you're de dealing with someone here who's finally who is done with their mind games, okay? This person was playing mind games with you, they had trust issues, okay? Finally, someone's dropping their guard, okay? They're done playing themselves. With the lovers here, this person chooses you. Again, they, this person is realizing that they have a strong twin flame connection with you, a very strong-ass connection. But with the queen of swords in reverse here, this is someone you've cut, you've cut out, okay? Or they've cut you out. But definitely someone who's not communicating with you at the present moment, okay? Someone's being very cold, detached. But the queen of swords in reverse to me is someone, you know, who's really nasty, okay? She's, she's really bitchy. But I feel... This is you, this is the kind of person you're dealing with who's giving you the silent treatment, okay? Someone who's very resentful and cold-hearted right now. You could have cut them, they could have cut you off, okay? All right. Tell me, how do you view this person? Yeah, you view this person with the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Six of Wands in reverse. You view this person as someone whose heart chakra is blocked, okay? Someone who re refused to open up emotionally, this is unrequited love, okay? You see this person as someone, you know, who you had, um, who you were in love with, but things just landed up very, um, like a disaster, okay? There was a lot of disappointment in a relationship with this person here. Your love, uh, the love that you gave was not reciprocated, okay? Definitely someone you had a fallout with. And with the six of wands in reverse here, you view this person as someone who's ignoring you, avoiding you, or someone who neglected you all this while, okay? You wanted forward moment, you wanted victory with this person, but you view this person as someone, you know, uh, where things didn't work out for them, okay? And this didn't work out because this person was uh, not ready to open up emotionally, okay? They didn't want to be emotionally vulnerable. That's how you view them. All right, how does this person view Libra? How does this person view Libra? Five of Pentacles with a Page of Swords here. This person views you as someone who's left them out in the cold, for sure, okay? They view you as someone with the Five of Pentacles here who's left them out in the cold, who's abandoned them. And with the Page of Swords here, I think they view you as someone who's watching them. They feel that you're not talking to them, but you're still watching them from a distance.
they also could view you as someone very codependent. Okay. But with the five of pentacles and beta phones, you know, they view you as someone, you know, who's left them out in the cold, who's not talking to them, lack of communication from your side. But also at the same time, you're watching them. Okay. And that's how they view you. Let's see. Okay. What action uh, will Libra take towards this person? What action will Libra take towards this person moving forward? Four of Swords with the Ten of Cups in reverse here. Libra, this is what you've always wanted, okay? I'm feeling that you've always wanted this uh, happily ever after with this person here. And I think you even achieved it, okay? But somewhere, somehow, with the Ten of Cups in reverse here, I feel this is a relationship that once made you very, very happy, okay? But now your focus is more, or you're focusing and keeping to yourself rather than focusing on a relationship okay because you guys are just not on the same page so you're choosing not to take any action and with the four of swords you're thinking about them but you're choosing to stay quiet yeah the four of swords is the energy of uh, a lot of withdrawal okay silent treatment like i said you're just choosing to hold back and you're not wanting to jump into any conclusion okay but you're gonna sleep on it is what i'm getting you're on a break you know things are quiet you're trying to get your peace of mind not doing anything about it yeah but you're needing time and space to think about this person, okay? But for right now, with the action part here, when it comes to this relationship here, two of swords, see? You're living in denial, okay? This is uh, being very avoidant, okay? And not wanting to be vulnerable, okay? With, to, towards this person here. What action would this person take towards Libra? Whoa, what action will this person take towards Libra? One more card. Damn. <laughs> okay, that is really contradictory, but okay, fine. Eight of Wands with a High Priestess here. Okay, now with the Eight of Wands and High Priestess, I feel that this person is going to communicate with you, okay? Why? Because with the High Priestess here, this person is trusting their intuition, okay? I'm feeling that this person's intuition is asking you to communicate with you like now, okay? They want progress with you. So there's going to be fast, heaty intensity, you know, there's like going to be a lot of communication back and forth, okay? But uh, things are going to get moving very quickly and, you know, there's going to, there's a lot of passion here, okay? So this person's coming in towards you with a lot of communication and with the with the high priestess here, it's literally like their intuition is asking them to do so, okay? All right. Tell me why is all this happening? Tell me why is all this happening? Tell me why is all this happening? Yeah, sure. Seven of cups in reverse with the ten of wands in reverse here. Finally, huh? Finally, someone wakes up. Finally, someone is done with that wishful thinking. This is someone, you know, who is constantly dreaming into the future rather than taking action in the present to make things happen. Okay, someone was very confused, overwhelmed. Either they had too many options or they were just not sure about what the right decision was okay this person out here this is what you don't see coming okay so this person now has a reality check they have clarity about what they want they're coming to a realization that you are what they want okay and with the ten of wands in reverse here i think this person if this person was holding back communication they're coming in towards you okay this lack of communication this breakup is bringing a lot of turmoil and stress okay towards them and they're ready to lay down the situation okay they're ready ready to let go of the stress see with the nine of pentacles here because they see you as someone who they, they see your worth they realize your worth with your value okay they see you as badass okay that um, the nine of pentacles is also pre-empress right so yeah they see you uh, doing your shit you got your shit together you're just being awesome and um, this is because with the nine of pentacles the kind of vibe that you throw out libra is more like you know i'm okay on my own not like you're single because you have to be but you're being single because you're choosing to be single okay you're focusing on your worth your value you're focused on your own money career goals you know just doing everything under the sun uh, to um, be happy and you have a lot of gratitude okay you're living your best life and now this person is very clear about what they want eight of pentacles in reverse here okay so that's what this is this person could be someone who was just not putting in the effort in the past you know and you were the only one doing all the work here is what i'm getting all right tell me what is the immediate future for this connection what is the immediate future for this connection 
the other way of looking at the story is also if I look at it from your side, then I feel that you now have a reality check. Okay, you were probably very confused in the past, but you have a reality check about this situation here and with the ten of wands and reverse here, you're letting this situation go, and this is why all this is happening. Okay, so take it how it resonates here, whatever. However, I'll take one more card just to give you more clarification. Give me seven of cups in reverse and the ten of wands in reverse. Give me one more card for the seven of cups in reverse and ten of wands in reverse. Six of swords, yeah. Okay, so now this is you, okay? This is why this is happening. You have a reality check about whatever's going on. You're no longer confused here, okay? And you're dropping this burden, this, this load, okay? Because someone's bringing in a lot of stress, like I said, okay? You're letting go of the stress. And with the six of swords, you're moving forward. You're moving into calmer waters, okay? The six of swords is the energy of, you know what? You're just going wherever the wave takes you, yeah? But you're trying to physically, mentally uh, put a distance between you and the person you're dealing with, okay? It's like whatever happens, happens. You're just going with the flow, but you're moving away from this person. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Uh, what is the immediate future of this connection? What is the immediate future of this connection? Yeah. Someone's going to be experiencing heartbreak or the separation will still be maintained. Three of swords with the three of pentacles in reverse here. Yeah. Um, there is a lot of heartbreak. There is this emotional distress and tension again, which continues in the near future here because with the three of pentacles in reverse here, there is still that lack of coming together. It's that energy of where I feel that you guys still are not being able to collaborate with each other. There's still a lack of effort. There's still a lack of investment here, okay? You seem to be hitting a wall with this person, but I'm getting here that um, you guys are not finding a common ground to be with together, okay? Or probably, this per I feel somewhere, somehow this person, even if they want to come towards you, okay? Because they're coming towards you with the eight of wands here, okay? I feel that that's the action. They're definitely coming in to communicate towards you. There's going to be a lot of back and forth communication. But I feel that you're not going to be, you're, I don't even see you in two minds. The three of swords is where I feel you're still maintaining uh, the separation, okay? Because you're trying to heal from this situation. But I feel you refuse to work with them, you know? You're just not being able to uh, cooperate and compromise with this person anymore, okay? That's what I'm getting here. You don't want to is what I'm getting. See, because you think, see things very, very clearly here. This person makes you wait. That's what the fuck up is. This person makes you wait, you know? And the more they make you wait, the more bitter you get. But yeah, that's what I have for you, okay? So I hope this reading resonates with you, Libra. Like, share, subscribe, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.